we'll just say uh, uh, like from the camera and it's going to ask for a location where it's going to store and okay that's me <laughs> and uh, this is the uh, checkerboard image what i'm going to use so this is an asymmetric uh, image that is we have nine uh, squares in the let's say y axis and the seven squares in the x axis so it's asking for for the camera okay if if you have multiple hardware uh, connected to your system is it's it will ask for uh, a specific uh, that and uh, i will is asking for a uh, capture interval so to speed up the process i will say like okay i need to capture one image in every second and i want to i want to capture 20 images from my camera so as it's mentioned like for better result it is uh, recommended to use somewhere around between 10 to 20 images but yes you can go beyond uh, 10 to 20 images also let's go and uh, capture the images okay now uh, like let me capture these images i will say capture from the image and i'm just more i will just move my checkerboard just to make sure that i'm gonna capture from all uh, uh, like so it has completed let's say let me just close the camera just to make sure uh, I'm have in the images so my pattern is a uh, checkerboard images but you can uh, like it it has a uh, two more uh, that is asm asymmetric circle, uh, circle grid and the symmetric circle grid and at the same time is asking for the size of the squared images like those squares in my uh, checkerboard so i have manually measured this and it was uh, like 21 millimeters and at the same time it's asking for the image distortion since i'm using uh, my image distortion it's gonna be on the lower side so i will go with the low uh, and I will... the checkerboard images okay so now it's detecting all the checkerboards in the images but yes, we will discard these uh, captured images and we will proceed with the images that we have uh, pre-captured. We we'll import it from the file just to make sure uh, we have a higher accuracy and we have good calibration results. Okay, uh, now uh, when I have captured all the images, so uh, yes. So it has detected uh, those checkerboard points and these these uh, green uh, circles are the detected points. So it's trying to detect uh, the edge, uh, that is this edge between uh, those two squares. And uh, let me just visualize a few more. Yeah. And this yellow point is a, a reference point or the origin, origin point. So after calibration, it's going to reproject all the reprojected points back into the image. So let me, uh, okay, in the options, you can specify if you have a radial distortion. And uh, if the radial distortion is on higher side, you can go with three coefficient. And at the same time, if you have uh, tangen tangential distortion uh, tangential distortion uh, when your camera sensor and camera lens are not in parallel don't have all uh, uh, i don't have the tangential distortion so i will just go with the standard uh, of the those points after applying these uh, calibrated parameters so let me just visualize a few more images and the reproduction points and in the right side, I can see the reprojection errors. So this is like uh, any uh, some any anything beyond one is like slightly on the uh, lower accuracy, or it's not acceptable. So uh, just to increase increased accuracy, what I'm gonna do is like I need to have a reprojection errors which is less than let's say. I want with the blue indicator. So I'm going to drag this line and place it here. And now it's going to recalibrate 
and it's going to highlight the images that have the higher reproduction errors and it, I can remove this uh, images and I can recalibrate my recalibrate with the rest of the images. So I will remove and I will recalibrate with the rest of the images. So now I will have a new uh, reproduction errors and the reproject, uh, sorry, uh, and the camera parameters. So now it's optimizing and it will give me a result with a reproduction error as a max value. And uh, to visualize this like, uh, and the in the in this window there are two different options that is to uh camera centric view uh, or a uh, pattern centric view so basically camera centric view is uh, something like uh you 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 have fixed your image on a plane and you are going to use uh, your camera and you're shifting your camera to a different angles and you're capturing the images with from different different angles and camera centric view is like oh, your camera is fixed and your image or the scene is moving so this is exactly what we have done that is we fix the camera from uh, that is our webcam and we were moving this image uh, this uh, checkerboard so yes now it has given me reproducted like uh, after uh, removing those images now it has given me a new uh, reproduction error which is less than one but still uh, you like we may not be satisfied with the result so let me just go back and uh, discard all these images and I will import all the, uh, like, I will import the pre-captured images to have a better accuracy. So let me just delete all these images that I have captured. I will say select all and remove. And I will add my images again from the file that I have captured, uh, pre-captured. So, I will go and select the images that I have captured from the cam camera itself. So, these are the images that I have uh, previously captured. So, I'm gonna import this. So again, it's asking for uh, like uh, to choose the pattern and the size of the uh, squares in the checkerboard. So I have used the same images with the same dimension. So I'm gonna uh, go with the same, and it will import all the images that I have select calibration, and uh, we will estimate the reproduction errors. So now it's detecting the checkerboard. So yes, we are almost done. One more image and now it's gonna give me a report or uh, it's gonna accept all the images if it is uh, if it has detected all the ima uh, checker imported images and now it will... Uh... Okay, so now it has detected these points, like detected points. It had these green uh, circular points again, like these are the detected points, and this yellow square is a uh, like origin of the checkerboard. So let let us just explore a few images uh, to make sure that it has uh, captured, it has detected all the uh, it has detected the points in all the images. So yes, now we are just good to go. And again, in the uh, options you can if you are if you have a tangential distortion you can specify that okay uh, for the tangential distortion or the camera model uh, what you are using is it a standard one or with the fish eye view so the camera what i'm currently using like i was using it was a standard camera that is from the lab uh, lab uh, will calibrate and i will uh, estimate the uh, reproduction point and reprojection errors.